So you'll see I've mixed up like four colors here, a blue, something more. We were going in for the, the tones in the beard, but then there's this bright yellow. So it almost looks like that's a different value, but how you can test it on your phone is like, we took a picture of it and then we took a black and white picture and they're all the same, right? So when you're thinking color temperature in certain areas like the light or the darks, try to keep them the same values because then it will hold together stronger. You know, just like a good, really strong painting will hold together if you take a black and white picture of it. You can almost limit it to, to five values, the light, shadow, mid-tone, reflected light, and highlight. My name is Michelle Dunaway. I'm teaching a workshop for Rosemary and Company brushes. It's a painting the portrait in the landscape. I was drawing since the age of two. It, before I could even talk, I had picked up a pencil and was drawing faces and hands. And so my first memory is actually of seeing an art book. Didn't really know until my early 20s that it's something you could do as a career. And so getting to do what I love for a living. I've known Rosemary and Simi for um, many years actually because I used their brushes long, you know, before I actually became friends with them. I mean, my brushes that I first bought with them, you know, 10 years ago plus are still good. I just, you know, I buy more, but they, I, the old ones, they never wear out. What's amazing to me though is the rosemary brushes, they're not only the best quality, they're one of the most affordable brushes for being handmade. They're less expensive in, than a lot of the machine made in the States and mass produced and out of China. And so it's, it's really nice, you know, that they keep it affordable for us. What's nice about meeting all these people from different areas around the globe is they all have different directions that they want to go in their art but they all have unique visions and so my goal is just to try to help them get a little closer to that. <laughs> Often when I'm helping a student um, they're having trouble creating a certain effect that they want but it's just you're using the wrong brush you need a certain type of brush. I like this this series Eclipse it's one of my favorites, and Michelle also advised me to use that. One of the things that they do, which I think is really clever, is um, certain artists have their brush sets, like, so, if you're someone who said, oh, I love the work of Michael Klein or Michelle Dunaway, etc., they've got their own brush set. So all you do is uh, give you a brush set, and then you've got everything that the master uses, sort of thing, which is great. This one I, I tend to use almost for everything. It's an extra long comber. They last forever, and they're like very reasonably priced. And then when I saw how they make them, I'm like, These, this should be like $500 for one. <laughs> they are the best brushes in the world, and they're the best brushes in the world for a reason. Some of the best artists in the world use them, so they can't run out, so it rubs off on me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>